creating tasks that are clear, concise, easy to understand, and more importantly, actually describe what you want to do you know, within context is very important and vital to making sure your business and projects are moving forward and are successful. So in today's Morning for Visionaries, we're going over just that, how to set up tasks that are clear, concise, to the point, and all these things. The, the biggest and most important thing people really forget about tasks and project management systems are that they are here really to help you communicate what you need to be done. Of course, you need to tell people what's going to be done, but just telling them isn't right. Well, it, it's a good step. The problem is, is that you need to do more than just tell them what. You have to describe what it needs to be done, how it needs to be done in some cases, what's the context for these things. Recently, I had a task given to me by a client and it had like nothing. And I mean almost nothing. It had a title, uh, but this gave me no context on what this person wanted and what they wanted me to do. And it really didn't explain to me what was going on. And the problem is, and, and I've uh, tried to explain this, is that there are so many things going on in business that you have to really tell me what you want. Because if you just tell me, go fix this, when they didn't tell me what this was, what about this thing has to be fixed? What is this thing that you want me to do? And where, on what page do you want me to fix some colors? Do you want me to fix login? You need to tell me more information. And they didn't provide me this info. So let's start with what makes a good task to give to people. Of course, this depends on what you're doing in business, who you're talking to, how you're set up, and all these things, of course. But in general, here are some great things to put into any task to make sure that they are clear, concise, and you can get the point across. First is, of course, the task name or title. If possible, they should have some description on and give help give context on what kind of task it is. Is it an IT support task? Is it a general question? Is it a bug? Is it a feature request? So on and so forth. Other than that, it should also, if possible, not because it's sometimes you can't really fit much into a title, at least give you a quick overview of what this request is going to be about. Fixing the login on XYZ website, fix, uh, changing the colors, new feedback for content, etc. So give some context about what we're going to be just looking into or you're asking people to do. Then in the actual task description, of course, before we get into that, actually, let's go with, you know, assign to somebody the appropriate people, give a start date and an end date where possible, and appropriate custom fields or tags or essentially extra metadata where reasonable that could help put context into the, these things. Not required at all, but can be helpful if appropriate. Now into the actual description, this is where the, the meat of the stuff is going to be. First and foremost, please be clear. And this means you have to not assume that everybody knows what you're talking about. If you have only one website and you say, hey, the login doesn't work, you might think, well, that's pretty clear. The login doesn't work, right? Yeah. That tells us absolutely no context. Do you mean the uh, login page is not working, the website's not loading? Do you mean somebody forgot their password? Do you mean you forgot your own password? Or does it in general mean the whole system is broken and nobody can log in at all from no platforms, not from mobile, not from the website, not from any browser? Or do you mean they can log in and the member page doesn't work? I've had all those, by the way, for it doesn't, uh, you can't log in. I've had all those and more for, for that kind of request. So. Let's put some context into what's going on. So first and foremost, where is this issue happening? As clearly as possible. So is this happening on a specific page? Is it spe happening in the car? Is it happening when somebody walks into the building? Is it happening in warehousing and receiving? I don't know. Tell me and tell who you want this task to be done where this issue is happening so they can go look in that specific place or that time if they're recurring f reviewing footage and all these things you know, get context or a special context to these things. Then of course, there's also the, if, if appropriate, because it's not always, what are the steps to recreate the issue or what has happened to lead up to this issue happening or this thing that needs to be changed or tweaked? Again, this one's probably not, not appropriate for something like, hey, can you go add new, this new blog post to XYZ website? And that's pretty explanatory, right? But then after that, you know, after we say uh, those two things, then we can say, well, now, now what's the, the meat of the thing that we need to do? Is there new content? If there's new content, add it. If there's a change request, say what the thing actually needs to be changed from this 
to specifically this. If it's a bug report, be very clear. I have done these steps and it should be doing this, but I click login and nothing happens. And I, and nothing, it doesn't reload the page. It doesn't do anything, whatever. You have to be crystal clear about what is happening, what you want to happen or what didn't happen and you want to happen or what the request we're changing, what from to, or what you're requesting for new information. Be crystal clear. So there is no ambiguity. You might think I know everything and my team members know everything as well. Well, they might not. They might have a 500 tasks that they're working on. And if you throw a brand new one at them, they might have no context for this. So you should tell them as clearly as possible where appropriate that I need this very specific thing done. So that means in the description, you're talking about the who, what, where, when, why, you know, that kind of thing, more so and more so. Now, after you have the how to reproduce the issue, what is the context of this issue, and the, the you know, the meat, the description uh, of this issue, then where possible, what you would like to happen next, and how to follow up. So this one's kind of important, because a lot of people forget that once you do a task, you have to tell somebody that this task is done, right? So what should happen next? So let's assume this is a bug report. So we've done, you, you fixed the bug, what should happen next, right? Should we notify the client? Should we just add it to the change log? Should we mark it in the bug system that it's now fixed? What needs to happen after this thing has been done or addressed? What should happen next? Should we notify somebody and all these fun things? Write that down. Now, here's the fun thing. After you have all those four pieces, you know, what happens before, what to, uh, what's the context of this, what needs to be done, and what to do afterwards, some of these pieces can be changed into subtasks. What I mean by this, where appropriate, this should include, hey, this task has been assigned appropriately. Everybody under this task has been received. Not That might be going a little bit crazy, but there is a place for, hey, I, I have received your request and I acknowledge that I have re received your request. A quick example of this thing. If you've ever used one of those support ticketing systems by a usually, uh, by either a larger company or a software company, you'll receive an automated response that says, hey, we received your ticket, we'll respond to you within 24 hours. One of those things, right? You should probably have one of these things in your uh, ticketing things, support things, or project things. Hey, I've received your request. I acknowledge that I got it. I'll get to it. And that doesn't mean I will do this task within X amount of time. It means I'll go read it. Or I have read it and now I'm going to go starting or it's scheduled. So speaking of which, has it been scheduled? That's probably a good thing to add into a subtask, you know, scheduling, assigning, delegation, whatever it might be, right? Then there's doing of said task and you might create subtasks within those things that somebody says, hey, uh, there are now three subtasks uh, to do because it, these templates of support tasks, whatever you want to call them, you know, there's, there's a standard thing, task received, task being done, done, follow up, right? There's that kind of those subtasks you can create, but inside there might be more because you might need to update three pages. You might need to follow up with and make 10 phone calls. Who knows, right? Whatever it might be, you can create those subtasks. And then of course, and I usually love this one is the follow up task. I have sent this task. And in that no notification message, I always say, if we don't respond within 48 hours, a business 48 hours, then this task will be automatically closed and marked as done. Or we can start a new one afterwards. So that is what I recommend to help make your requests crystal clear to anybody and everybody on your team. Make sure to put context on it. Tell people what is going on, what is not going on, what should be going on, when, where, who, what, and be as descriptive as possible. And I mean, give all the good juicy details. So if you just say login's not working, that's not good enough. Give some context to it from all websites, your login, anybody's login. When did it happen? Is ship, shipping didn't receive uh, the new hardware. Well, what hardware are we talking about? We receive shipments all the time. When was it supposed to come in? Who was responsible for it? Who should we contact, et cetera, et cetera. Give as much details as possible so whoever's going to handle this task has all that information and they don't have to go searching around and then ask you again, hey, what did you mean by login? Do you, did, are you trying to log in? Was it a user? Because I'm able to log in. I'm not able to reproduce this issue. And that is a common response, honestly. Hey, I, I looked at this thing, but I don't understand it. Can you provide me more information? Because the, based on the quick information, I'm not able to reproduce the issue at all. And that, that genuinely is one of my common responses because it works. I don't know. 
you're not telling me anything. So that's it for today's Morning for Visioners. Please be concise with your requests because that will help any IT professional, honestly, anybody in a project man 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 management system. Well, it'll help things move so much simpler if you describe things accurately. And yes, if you're wondering, oh my gosh, that's so much work. Yes, it is. It really is. But it helps things down the line because everybody knows what's going on, what to do, how to do it, when to expect, what to expect, and how to do things. It does take more work, but it is so much more worth it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.